Hello everyone, how's everyone doing today? It is Monday, the start of a new week. Hope you're all as excited as I am. I hope you, can, you guys can hear me actually. Oh boy, an ad. <laughs> yep. Sweet intro, stepping it up. Yeah, that's uh, a new intro I got. You guys are going to have to let me know how the audio is because once again, I changed my audio. I feel like this is happening every week, but I got one of these nifty, difty little arm things. So hopefully it sounds all right. A little quiet. Audio is good or is audio quiet? Jader and Aquatics, how you doing, buddy? Rob Hicks, uh, Aquatic Life. Who else do we got in here? Nisi, of course. Dwayne. Turtle Girl. Hello, Turtle Girl. Flynn. Chris is here. How you doing, buddy? Uh, who else? Mary Beth Mabe. All of us are here, it seems like. Pretty close. I'm very low. Okay, I can fix that. How about that? Hmm, maybe move this over here. Okay, my pea puffer won't eat. What have you tried feeding it? Matt DLR apparently is my best friend. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Stranger Things, that is correct. I am on a huge Stranger Things. Uh, I don't know. I just binge watched season two, so. What's up from Las Vegas? Hello. Uh, text me fast. Just text me the number one. Uh, that's interesting. There we go. Hit the like button, definitely. Can you talk on brackish fish care? I have trouble finding information on figure eight puffers. Seems like a unique niche. Yes, it is, Matthew, and I know nothing about brackish water. So I cannot speak on it. I've never kept a brackish water, water tank in my life. So, no spoiler, please. Oh. I would never actually talk about this show, other than the fact that it is freaking awesome. I need a name for my three-legged female side neck. Any suggestions? Looking for names for a three-legged turtle. All right, speaking of turtles, Turtle Girl says, are you getting a lot of rain and wind? Yes, we have lots of wind. I might lose power, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully not. Charles Fish Tanks is here. Hey, Charles, good to see you back. Stranger Bob, yep, tons of wind and rain here. Flynn, he's here too. No rain, but lots and lots of wind. So I would not be surprised if I dropped this live stream. Uh, yes, and as you can see, Charles Fish Tanks is back. I got to meet him in Chicago, and uh, he has renewed his, uh, I don't know what you call it, whatever, in the fish keeping and YouTube. So hopefully we'll be seeing more of Charles again. I did miss your live stream the other day, so sorry about that. First one in, what, like three months? M9J16 says, I should be doing my college assignment right now. Pfft. College is worthless. No, I'm just kidding. Stay in school. <laughs> okay, I need a name for my better that I'm getting. Wait, whenever, a, whenever I name a fish, it dies. Don't curse me. That's my curse, Flynn. That was my curse for a long, long time. Sunny and warm in West Texas. Why not just DIY? <laughs> All right. Uh, name him Turkey. Jacob says, my pea puffers won't eat. I have fed. I've been feeding frozen blood worms. Where the first thing you're going to want to do is check your water parameters. Uh, let's see. How's the Tetras doing? Oh, Tripod is a really good name. Oh, Tripod is a really good name. Find any Val? I have not yet, Candy. Although I have not checked my post yet, either. Thanks for reminding me. I'm looking for lots and lots of Jungle Val. Uh, how is Hemi doing? Mary Beth Mabe doing pretty well. Um, so, we'll see. 
Still hasn't eaten, but I've been reassured by lots and lots of people that 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 it's okay that she has not eaten yet. Uh, so we'll see. I'll actually be making her a mouse tonight, preparing a mouse. Yep. Uh, Peter says, oh, hey, Peter. Hi, Bob. Thanks for the follow. No problemo, my friend. Jeff Rowe, I got a 40-gallon breeder for $45 at Petco yesterday. Setting it up right now. Awesome. I got a... I got a 40 gallon breeder on the lost on the lost on the last dollar per gallon sale and I still haven't set it up. <laughs> it is in my garage with all my other tanks. All my other brand new tanks that I haven't set up, including the 240 gallon. How's the dragon puffer? Alex, the dragon puffer is doing well, uh, eating lots of shrimp and guppies and snails. How do you go about preparing a mouse? I have to um, a trick I was told is to cook it in chicken broth. So we'll see. We'll see if that works. Dwayne says, try clamshells to up calcium. Uh, you should get the pond jungle valve from LR Bread Steam Fight Aquatics. It is gorgeous, although it is currently virgin, not the straight. Michael Trevino says, I'm officially a patron now. Thank you, Michael. I did see that. I think I, I think I saw that last time too. So that's pretty awesome. M9J16 says signs that your Mbuna is about to release her fry. Her mouth will be huge. Uh, you'll actually, when she's um, swimming around, you should be able to like see in her mouth and see the fry swimming around. Not me following Bob. <laughs> yep. Uh, Charles Fish Tank, Fish Tank says. Tank's good. I finally got the angels to eat the tropical food. Limias are still skittish. Uh, what's the cool blue and red fish in the background? It reminds me of a neon tetra. Is it the neon tetras? Wait, where did that go? Uh, I lost the comment. Oh, there it is. Blue and red fish in the background. Those are neon tetras. <laughs> if those are the ones you're talking about. Oh, uh, is the dragon puffer the one that had the snail trying to climb in its mouth? That is the one. That is the one. Turtle Girl, Hemi is the only snake I have right now, currently. And once I get her eating, I will get a male. And then I'll have two. And the only reptile for that matter. That is correct. Oh, Sashimi Whiskey says it's cardinal. Cardinal Tetras. Really? Hmm. Shouldn't the red line go all the way across the body if they were cardinal tetras? I think you got wamboozled. Brandon Flynn, wrong account. He's trying to troll. Brandon trying to troll. Nice, nice try, Flynn. Uh, I really want to give money through Patreon, but I would have to use my parents' money, and it's hard to convince them to give these people money every month. <laughs> Don't worry about it, fishbowl. Uh, just being here is good enough. Uh, what's up, Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Uh, what do you think about Odessa barbs? Um, I like them, but when I had them, they shredded all my plants, and it made me angry. How do you even switch them while you're watching, Flynn? <laughs> Not even how, but why. Why do you switch them? <laughs> So I do have an announcement, kind of an, an exciting announcement for my Thursday stream. I do have a guest lined up for Thursday, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, the Turtle Girl used multiple browsers. Any tips on making Bolivian rams safer? Mine are skittish right now, even though I have them in a planted tank. Do you have, what other fish do you have in there with them? KG Sickle is here, how you doing buddy? Barbara Jackson, hello. Uh, I've seen videos of people hatching store brought of hatching store bought quail eggs. What do you think of it? Uh, if you want to hatch them, why not? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Jay's Aquatic is just saying Bob over and over and over. All right. Kyle is here. How you doing, Kyle? Thursday guests are fun. Yep, should be a lot of fun. Pea puffer with scarlet baddis, heavily planted tank with lots of live food available. Um, 
I don't, I, that'd be interesting. Are you asking if you can do it? Nathan says, I have them with gold neons and a beta. Hmm. How long have you had them? They still, if you just got them, they might be getting used. 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 I don't know why that sounds funny to me. To their new tank. Uh, Kyle says, Bob, best place to buy Julie de Chromis Malaria. Are they all $25? Um, mine were free. The key is finding someone that breeds them, Kyle. Because once they start breeding, they don't stop. And I've had multiple people like message me trying to give give them to me for free, and I can't do it. Although it has been a while, but man, when I when I was bigger into Tanganyikans, I would have people messaging me all the time wanting to give me free Julies. How are my Shellys doing? Kent, they are doing amazing, breeding like crazy. <sighs> Just in from Corvus Stream. What are good plants to keep with plecos? Um, any any plants really, unless you have bristlenose plecos, then the only plants you can't keep are sword plants. Oh, that's probably why I've had them for two days in my tank. Yeah, definitely. Uh, wait, that's someone else. What am I talking about? Tips on removing crushed clams from my Mabu puffer sand. I have no tips for you. I just leave it in there. What's your opinion on the fx6 um i think it's vastly overpriced unless you can get it on the black friday deal where it's like under 200 dollars. that's the only time i would buy one although it is a really really good filter um and i'm sure there's a lot of people that would say it's worth the high price tag and it might be but just not to me kyle says oh my god i love her lake i love her lake tanganyika it's magical all the fish look so unique yep I will slowly be getting rid of all my Africans, probably except my Lake Tanganyikans. Just sticking with those. Turtle Girl, are you going to do the live stream? Ah, uh, yes, Turtle Girl just hit, well, not just hit now, but hit 500 subscribers. I don't know, are we too late for the contest? Uh, is doing a 500 contest giveaway, so that's pretty neat. Uh, yes, it's quite honored to be timed out by Sashimi. Oh, so I got distracted. My guest on Thursday will be Rachel O'Leary will be coming on the live stream on Thursday. So it should be a lot of fun. Hope everyone shows up. Uh, lover was a misspell. Yeah, I know, but I said it anyways. <laughs> Chris says, hit the like button and share button. Absolutely. Thank you, Chris. I'm leaning towards getting rid of my Africans too. Yeah, just my Malawis and my Victorians, even though I only have like one or two Victorians left, but definitely the Malawis and just sticking to Lake Tanganyika. Horseshoe Betta says, and by the way, I subbed a couple days ago at the Turtle Girl. All right, so Turtle Girl says, if you want to enter her 500 subscriber giveaway, it's open till Friday evening. She is giving away a super rad uh, shirt that she designed. So I entered for it because I want one. So you should too. All you have to do is go to her channel, watch the video, like, and make sure you're subscribed and comment. Uh, what should a new YouTube do for editing? I'm trying iMovie, but it's kind of cheesy. Uh, I mean, if you have iMovie, that's probably going to be the best. Are you looking to pay for something, or are you looking for free? Why is it bad if you see a planaria worm in a shrimp tank? Do they eat the shrimp? My lights are flickering. That's not a good sign. Free shirt? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, planaria worms, It. I think it's just a bad sign that... Oh, there they go again. I might lose power. Um, if you have planaria worms, it probably means you're overfeeding. Um, so that's, that's what I would kind of cut back on your feeding. Uh, I don't know that they actually, actually harm the shrimp though. Maybe someone in chat would know. Uh, Mandolin FSU says, that's awesome. Rachel's the best. My CBDs I got from her last year are thriving and multiplying and aren't even shy. Yep. Rachel Leary on the stream on Thursday. So... Come prepared with your questions on nanofish and shrimp. Should be a lot of fun. And diseases. She's quite the expert on all things nano, right? That's 
That's her thing. <laughs> uh, howdy, I was able to make it through the storm. Yep, it's coming up here. My lights are flickering, Joel. Uh, what's your What's your thoughts on mantis shrimp? I think they're awesome. Um, my phone is not charged, and I can don't have a charger up here. Did you make your own comp? Uh, no, I bought a laptop. I will say that, so I bought a new laptop. It has the new Intel 8th gen processor, which is amazing for video editing. Um, like a, a 10 minute video on my old computer took almost an hour to render. Uh, but this is, this is almost real time. It's crazy. So I, well, I did a, was like a six minute video in like eight minutes. So that was pretty sweet. Is the storm moving north or south? Usually north. Hello, Cole. How do I get rid of studs in the shrimp tank? Studs or scuds? Maybe you meant scuds. I don't know why you'd want to get rid of scuds. Scuds are awesome, if that's what you meant. Um, Candy says, hi, Doug of the North. Is Doug of the North here? Uh-oh, Doug of the North is driving and watching the live stream. Mantis shrimp are bad ass. I agree, they are super awesome. I was questioning on if I wanted to swear or not, but you know, my live streams always get demonetized anyway, so I figure it doesn't matter. Uh, have, I ever, have I ever made DIY fish food? I have not. I've only DIY'd my own reptile food, not fish food. Uh, hey, Bob, just a random question that has nothing to do with fish. Do you like bad? I have no idea what that is, horseshoe pettas. Bad? Babby? I have no idea what that is. Rock says, hi, I love your videos and live streams. Any info on zigzag eels? Zigzag eels. Ooh, we got a new subscriber. Dwight thanks you, even though you're probably not here. Uh, well, anyways, zigzag eels. I love mine. He's just skittish. Um, maybe get another one, but most of the time they're always going to be skittish. Ever eat fish fruit? I don't know what fish fruit is either. A lot of weird questions today. Cichlid dude, how you doing, buddy? Doug of the North is driving and listening to the live stream. Support Bob, become a patron. Thank you, Alec. Uh, if the storm is moving north, that's not good for you because I'm in Tacoma and that's crazy windy down here. Yep. Yep. Uh, what kind of reptiles do I have? Right now, I only have a snake, a carpet python. An Irian Jaya carpet python. That's all I have right now. What type of snake did you have? Again, girlfriend was wondering. Oh, well, I just answered that. Chestnut brown. Bob, it's pronounced bad baby. Well, why is it spelled like that? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Kyle, I think you're playing. I think you're playing with Dwight. Kyle, uh, what would you suggest in the way of free video editing software? Chris versus Fish. I don't know any free video editing software. Um, I know they're out there, but I've never used them. For like fifty dollars, you can get Filmora Wondershare, and it's by far the best beginner video software out there. It'd be the best fifty dollars you ever spent. Mike says, "How's the carpet python doing?" Uh, still has not eaten, but I like I said earlier, uh, that's kind of normal. So we'll see. I'm making, preparing a mouse for it or two tonight with chicken broth. So we'll see. Hopefully it eats. The last time I put a mouse in there, uh, it stared at it for about eight hours and then kind of played with it and pushed it around, but never actually ate it. So we'll see what happens. Uh, whenever I buy a school of neon tetris two days ago, I bought 10 and every time a couple die my parameters are good Is it normal for that to happen rockstone? Um, I Hear a lot of people say that but I just bought a hundred neon tetras uh, It was in my last video. I've had them for almost two weeks now and I haven't lost any of them But I think it depends on where you're getting them. I'm sure they're just inbred like crazy um, So yeah, but I haven't lost any Uh, Kyle says I am I wanted to see if it would work. It's on delay. Yeah, it's a pretty long delay because it has to go through a website third party all that jazz So it does take a while You know it's if people super chat and you see it come up on super chat. It's always that's always delayed too. I Want sashimi whiskey software and his talent too. Don't we all? 
Steve Aquatics has a Facebook group. I just post about a better name suggestions beginning with F. After the live stream, can I get a few more suggestions? My daughter will name him tonight. Looking for suggestions for a betta fish that starts with F. Uh, parameters good is a death sentence in this hobby. Uh, JP Aquatic says, I have $185. What tank kit should I get? 10 to 40 gallons. I would wait till Black Friday and see what kind of deals there are on Black Friday. Particularly like PetSmart usually has pretty good deals. Um, although I heard they're not doing their, well, we've seen the Black Friday ad and they don't have the 125 gallon in it. So not, not that that's what you want, but we'll see. Michael Trevino says, gotta go have a good night, man. Night, everyone. See ya, Michael Trevino. Thanks for stopping by. How many of your fish do you get from Aquarium Co-op since it's pretty far from you, Kyle? None. The last fish I got from Aquarium Co-op was that huge red Erian, uh, rainbow fish most of most if not all my fish come from my local fish store which is about three miles that way that way name him finny <laughs> i like that one orlando uh foosball <laughs> all right what else do we got here mary beth ma'am the eggs are on the very outside of the cluster kind of act like protective coating for all the others so they'll not hatch not sure what we're talking about there, but always like seeing people help people out. Oh, here's all the F names. Farty, Frank, Funky, Fred, Frisco, Flame, Flame On, Frost, <laughs> Flower, Feta, Foosball. I already said Foosball. Feta Cheese. <laughs> uh, Petco should have some good deals going on now. Uh, Petco's doing 50% off all their like tank packages. I heard Petco is no longer doing the dollar per gallon sale on tanks larger than 29 gallons. That's true. They haven't done it in the last couple times. Fin Finno, I don't even know what that is, Turtle Girl. <laughs> well, apparently it's salami, but I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Uh, I follow closely, but still lack the talent. Yep. How long does a lemon Pleco get? If you're talking about the lemon bristle notes Pleco, it can get up to like six inches. Filthy Finley. <laughs> uh, Peta. Peta bought controlling interest in PetSmart. Peta? Peta? Hmm. Uh, carpet plant suggestions. Depends on your light. Bob, if I message you a pick of my new beta, can you show the viewers so they can help name it? Um, maybe. Uh, what breed of Pleco stays the smallest? Uh, the Claro Pleco, which is an Ancestress, is probably one of the smallest, but you know, you can get into some debates on is the Auto Synclus a Pleco, because then that would be the smallest. Uh, Michael says, true at Pleco, 55 and 40 breeder tanks are now only half off. That is true. Kent says, my daughters said, hi, Bob. Hello, Kent's daughters. Are there other lemon Plecos? I don't know. It's tough to say. Not that I know of, but I don't know. People are always coming with multiple names of different plecos, or this one pleco has like 10 different names. Uh, if you were to get a new monster fish, what would it be? Patrick, I'm not really big into monster fish. Autos, yep. Job Tetra Tanks with the $4.20 help support Bob's second dinner habit. I don't do that every night, but I did get two dinners. <laughs> the giant panak is the smallest pleco. Yeah, it only gets about 40 inches. I <laughs> uh, just got my new perfectly symmetrical half moon betta. Awesome. Are you selling epistogram of cockatoides or cockatoo, which I believe is different than the cockatoides? I am not. Kyle says, oh my God, Bob reads fast. Yep. When I'm when I'm rested, I can read pretty fast and accurately, and can rap. I'm a rap master. All right, let's see what I can do here, Flynn. Flynn, what did you take a picture? What are you using to take a picture? Is this from a Polaroid? All right, Flynn. If I screw up my stream, I'm blaming you. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Image. All right. Go in here. All right, there you go. If you can make that out, <laughs> Flynn, I don't know what you're using to take pictures, but you need to up your picture game. Have I done Brackish? I've never done Brackish. Where did I get my low boy tank? I ordered it through my local fish store. Uh, are those bottom feeders, plecos? No, those are loaches. Peacock bass or clown knife? I would go with clown knife. Got the aqua neat like you recommended. Really nice for the price. Yeah, they are awesome. Fred Frosty Frost. Frost. Yeah, I think it's going to be Frost Flynn. Flynn Frost Frost Flynn. I seeing the pick. That is so a Fred Fury Fonzie. Is it okay to cross continents with tetras and rainbows? Absolutely. Uh, well, most most of the time, yes. Frozen Frost Fred again. Frozen. Flynn, you better decide right now. People want to know right now. PETA owns PetSmart and SeaWorld. That's interesting. Uh, Flynn, you should get an S7 or a V20 with this Patreon. Um, Flynn, Flynn, what are you gonna what are you gonna pick there, Flynn? The world wants to know what's my least favorite tank I own. Are you talking about like overall, like everything that's in it, things like that? Hmm. Probably my 37 gallon acrylic with nanofish and bristlenose plecos only because it is infested with um, bladder war and duckweed. So I've got the, the duo there and it's just awful, really awful. And it's acrylic, so it's not like an open top, like a glass tank. So it's really hard to like scoop out duckweed. I'm actually gonna be probably tearing that whole tank down this week. Peter, I do not. Wait, I should probably Google that but I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Oops. Nope. Nope, the Hillstream Loach, that's right. I knew I recognized it. Nope, I do not have any Hillstream Loaches currently. What is my favorite substrate for a 10 gallon tank that isn't dirt? If it's planted, eco-complete. If it's not planted, sand. Cardinal Tetras or Cherry Barbs? Cherry Barbs all the way. Um, way easier to keep than Cardinal Tetras. Flipper. <laughs> all right. All right. Did Flynn say what he's naming it yet? I was trying to take the picture fast. I was going to miss my train if I was slower. All right. Still looking for you to side there, Flinny boy. What happened to the, what happened to the, all the fish in my low boy are in my 125 gallon tank. Uh, do goldfish eat bladderwort? Probably. Don't they eat everything? Uh, you know how you like Cynodonis? You should get Featherfin Cynodonis. Flynn Mercer Aquatics. The Featherfin is probably one of the ones I would never get. And I don't know why. I, I don't know why. Same with, like, the butterfly fish. Um, I, don't, I don't know why. I don't know why they don't appeal to me, but they just don't. Travis with the $5 super chat. Thank you, buddy. Always a good way to spend a Monday night. Thanks for the fun, Bob. Thank you, Travis. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, would you ever keep Oscars? Nope. Uh, that is one fish I can tell you I will probably never, never, ever keep. All right, Flynn. You got to decide on name. Rebub, Bob. I'll pick tomorrow. Oh, man. We can't wait till tomorrow. I have eco-complete substrate in both my tanks. I only have two, a five gallon and a 29 gallon. I love eco-complete. Monday night, it's Tuesday afternoon for me, Ozzy. All right. <laughs> uh, how do I convince my dad to get me another fish tank? Mm. Do your chores, do good in school. Blizzard, do you keep your altos? Did you keep your altos? 
Uh, Ricardo, I have not taken down that tank yet, so I still have them. Kang Lee is here. Hello, Kang Lee. Uh, do ghost shrimp need brackish water to breed and hatch their eggs? I believe so. It's been a long time since I've researched research them, but I'm pretty sure they need brackish water. Uh, at Kent's cat. Can albino and brown pleco go in the same tank and not inbreed? They, well, if, again, if you're talking about bristle nose plecos, they will. They will definitely breed. Rummy nose or cherry barbs? Now that's a better question. Mm, I would lean towards rummy nose, but I currently have cherry barbs, so I don't have rummy nose. I uh, had a big hybrid send it on us for nine years until he went carpet surfing this week. Uh, I hate when fish do that. I don't understand why they do that. Sorry about that, man. Did you enjoy the aquatic experience? Absolutely, I did. Cherry shrimp or ghost shrimp? Cherry shrimp, definitely. How long can plants be in a box and be okay? Aquatic life MS, a very, very long time. Very long time. Uh, as long as there's moisture and it's not too hot and not too cold, um, I've had them. I've had them in boxes for like two weeks. Granted, they're looking pretty ratty, but they'll they'll still recover. Wandering Aquatic says, "What's carpet surfing?" I'm assuming he means that it jumped out of the tank. Bob, are there small, those small, tiny bottom fish that are round plecos? Nope, those are loaches. Loaches. t Aquatics, hey, I just subbed my friend uh, at Flynn. Mercer Aquatics has told me that you are one of his top five fish YouTubers, and I'm hoping that I'll enjoy them as well. Well, thank you, Samuels. Samuel. Samuels Aquariums. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Do you have blue phantom plecos? Flynn Mercer Aquatics, I have gigantic blue phantom plecos that I'll be selling pretty soon, but they are like seven inches. They are huge. Is there a temperature range for shipping plants? Eric, uh, believe it or not, colder temperatures, as long as it's not freezing, are way better to ship plants in. Uh, before I started YouTube, I sold plants online for a very long time, uh, and... I usually never sold in the summer, but uh, you know, fall through spring was the best time. Right in that like 50 degree weather is perfect for shipping plants. Uh, I have an empty 10 gallon tank and I was wondering if I should breed a select strain of guppy. Well, only you can answer that, my friend. Is that something that sounds like fun to you? That's what you gotta decide. Uh, Dustin is in the house. What's up, fish tank guy? <laughs> He's in your house? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, Bob. Hello, Gina. Uh, Fish Fam Aquatics, nice pickup. Taylor changed your last name. Uh-oh, Bob, what did you do? Yep. I'm in so much trouble. Uh, yes, those are heel stream loaches you're talking about. Uh, my ghost shrimp breed like crazy in a tank full of guppies? Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm all caught up here. Uh, best time of the year to ship bristle nose plecos, uh, spring and fall. If you do it in the winter, you'll probably need a heat pack. Although, depending on how you ship them. So, when I ship fish, I like to ship fish uh, USPS. Uh, I know there's lots of horror stories, but honestly, there's lots of horror stories with all carriers. But the thing I like about UPS is that their, their two-day priority has been really good for me. Also, all their warehouses are heated, uh, which is nice. Uh, I couldn't handle it. Couldn't handle what? I changed it because Bob has too many fans. Uh, Jamie McDonald, and you can search the Patreon website for people you want to support. Uh, Colin Ferocious? Ooh, I like that one. Mystery Snail Shells, turning white from lack of calcium in the water and diet. Uh, are you answering someone's question? I take it. V-Stag, how you doing, Victor? Serious chat flow. I thought you were related to him. Uh, do you have a link to the Pleco girl? I forgot her name. The Pleco girl. Hmm. Uh, UPS or US, USPS, United States Postal Service, is my preferred shipping method for fish. 
Uh, let's see. He meant USPS. Yes, USPS. USPS, not UPS. Uh, I need to practice shipping fish. Any volunteers? What are you shipping, Orlando? I'm sure you'll get lots of volunteers. Uh, rest in peace. I live in New Zealand. Oh, I always wanted to go there. I was the 100 like. How many likes are we at? We have over 200 people. We should be at 150 likes. I don't ask for much, but that's all I ask for. I don't even know if it does anything. Probably doesn't do anything, but, you know, makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. <laughs> uh, let's see. I need practice. KKK. Yes, I did mean USPS. Uh, probably shouldn't have just said KKK really fast. Um, now I'm definitely demonetized. Ah, <sighs> great. <laughs> Kiwis in the house. That's not very nice. I probably shouldn't have read that either. Is there a site with plecos and their L numbers? Uh, Planet Catfish. There's another one too, but I don't remember. Pleco Planet, something like that. Hmm. Uh, Tazawa Tanks is here. How you doing, buddy? I see 120, like twice on the same account. <laughs> Thanks, Charles. <laughs> uh, I guess as, as long as we're at 150 total, we probably have a lot of dislikes. I usually get them by now. Uh, MK Film says, I need help. Don't we all? Bear Aquatics, thank you for subscribing if you're in here somewhere. Uh, what kind of stream are you doing here? Yeah, they always get demonetized, so... Thankfully, thankfully, we got a couple super chats to make up for this getting demonetized. Uh, look kind of fuzzy on the outside. What would you breed in a 10 gallon that's not guppies? Hmm, probably shrimp. Kiwi is what us New Zealanders call ourselves. Okay, as long as you call yourself that. <laughs> uh, Ella says, send me fish. I have two cichlid males and female. And the female is getting bullied. What should I do? Uh, well, what kind of cichlids? I was going to watch some other fish YouTubers. Then my timer went off saying you started the stream. It's annoying when I miss a live stream. It's not fun to rewatch live streams. I agree. I agree. I've done about all I can to make this as fun. Um, as far as for people that are rewatching, like introducing the chat, things like that. It's about all I can do. Uh, any new fish orders coming in? No, Charles. That last one that I got a couple weeks ago with the neon tetras and the cupid cichlids and the orange scene plecos and the corridoras lore toensis will probably be my last one for a while uh the only thing i might order is more plants uh do you keep parrot cichlids i do not orlando rua says email me if you want guppies or bristlenose plecos i need practice shipping Orlando Ruiz, 1027 at gmail.com. Be right back. A breeder is calling me. Shh, don't tell Bob. I don't know what that means. Kiwi here. Wish we could keep shrimp. Yes, I have heard that from Joel. I think it's kind of dumb that you guys can't keep shrimp, but there's a lot of things I can't keep in Washington that I think is kind of dumb. Has anyone ordered plants from Aquarium Clubs or Aquarium Club? Aquariumplants.club. I have not. I've actually never even heard of that. Uh, there's a video of Rachel O'Leary on L number in Plecos. Yes, there is. Or if you want to stop by this Thursday, this Thursday, you could ask her yourself on my live stream. Chaz is here. How you doing, buddy? Uh, did the big Erie and Red survive? Yep, I still have it. Definitely. Doing well. Uh, you can get them out of Western Springs. Hmm. JP Aquatic says, oh, lights just flickered again. I'm mad because I was using the super glue to... Glue some moss onto a rock and the super glue popped and now I have glue on my hands. That's the worst. I always get super glue on my hands when I'm uh, gluing that stuff. So Miguel asked an interesting question. Is shooting and editing in 4K video worth it? Depends on how much time you have. So YouTube will promote, if you do two videos, one in 1920 by 1080 and one in 4K, YouTube will promote the one in 4K over the one in 1920 by 1080. So if you have time and patience, then do it in 4K for sure. Uh, you should hear what Aussies call Kiwis. 
I hope Little Steen is okay. Little Steen is doing great. Uh, he, I was just checking him out the other day, feeding him some clams. Speaking of which, I got a story. So, when I went and traded in my rusty cichlids, I traded them for uh, in store, well, in store credit, obviously, and I got all the clams that they had, uh, frozen clams, and I have no idea where I put them. They are not in my freezer. This was about a week ago, so somewhere I have frozen clams rotting away, and I have no idea where they are. No idea, and I'm probably going to be smelling that pretty soon. I'm not very excited about it, but I, I don't know. I can't find them. They just disappeared. Uh, did anyone watch Aquarium Co-op vid on the new Archer Fish and Plecos he added to the 800 gallon? I did, Fleur, Fleur, I almost called you Flurser, Flynn Mercer Aquatics, I did. Wow, I didn't know the 4K YouTube trick, thanks Bobby. Yes, so there's an easy way to tell what YouTube promotes. If you guys want to know a trick, let me uh, pull it up here. So go to YouTube. Hey look, I'm live. Apparently I'm subscribed to myself, is that even possible? Uh, here, we'll just look up. We'll just search aquariums. Here, let's do this. Doop, doop, doop. See how smooth I am. Uh, what do I want here? Window capture. Boom. Okay. All right. I'm going to show you something. So here, I've just searched aquarium, right? So you go over to filter. And here is, so look at features. This is what they're going to promote before any other feature. So 4K is number one, HD, subtitles. If you don't have subtitles in there, you're not going to get promoted as much as someone that does. But this is pretty much how you can tell what's important. These are, these are in order. You can see they've added 360, which is fairly new. But there you go. That's how you can tell what's important to YouTube. Right there. There's a nice little, nice little hack for you. Not really a hack, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's mellowed out up here in BC. Shrimp okay at upper 60s? Yes. Well, what kind of shrimp? Bob, I think the dog ate the clams. Uh, wouldn't be the first time she ate fish food. Would be the first time she ate frozen clams, though. Hmm. Uh, Tazawa Tanks, are you coming up here? Did I miss something? <laughs> Let's see, where are you at? Missing clams, huh? Did any of your roommates have clam chowder recently? <laughs> I have no idea where they are. It's only two packs of clams. I, I really thought I'd be smelling them by now, but hopefully they're not like under... I haven't driven my Jeep since I went and got fish, so hopefully they're not like under the seat or something, and I'm going to open up my Jeep and just vomit. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Uh, winds are down, ferries running... African or South American cichlids. Um, so Lake Tanganyikan, which is African, are my favorite cichlids. And then, then South American, and then the other. Although there's a lot of dwarf species too that are awesome and in, in, that come out of Africa. So it depends. Depends on what you're talking about. You're talking about like Malawis and Victorians, because uh, a lot of a lot of Dwarf cichlids do come out of like the Congo and things like that. The Jeep will smell like puke and dirty butt. Well, I did, I did do a, like a quick once over looking for the clams, but I seriously have no idea where they are. Uh, again, check your pocket for clams. Once at school, I couldn't find where this terrible smell was coming from. I found two blocks of brine shrimp in my pocket. <laughs> oh man. Uh, coming to Portland. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Hopefully, you're gonna go to the wet spot. I don't know if you've ever been there, but definitely worth checking out. Uh, lights just flickered again. 200 people, 215 people watching. Hello, folks. Hello, Priscilla. The clams rotten will smell nice. Yep, that's going to stink. I seriously... And talk about a waste of fish. Like, I traded fish for these clams that are now rotting away somewhere. And it's honestly not the first time I've done something like that. A lot of times I'll take a pack of frozen food down into my fish room. Um, kind of feed a couple, set it down, forget about it, and then come in the next day. It's not good. It's not good. The fish nerd. Uh, I like river cichlids better than lake cichlids, South American or African. The fish nerd, you can't see, but I am wearing your shirt here. I got the orange one. 
Uh, I was gonna wear it, but it creates like a weird outline with my green screen. For whatever reason, my green screen does not like orange. So I had to throw my hoodie on. But it's the thought that counts, right? <laughs> I hope. Uh, Amen's Aquarium, how you doing, buddy? Hello, Kang Lee, Priscilla, Fish Nerd. Did you know Bob has a Twitter land? Check out his latest tweet here. Thank you, Nisi. Was thinking of getting a puffer, lots of local clams to be raked. Anyone who lives on the coast harvests clams their... Wait. Anyone who lives on the coast harvests clams for their puffers. Uh, good to see Chaz back. I know you've been back for a couple weeks now, but that's pretty awesome. Uh, to be honest, Flynn Mercer says, I prefer South American. I do love epistogrammas. I'm not going to lie, but the diversity in Lake Tanganyikan is insane. They have... You know, they have some of the smallest cichlids in the world. I'm not going to say the smallest, but... And they might have the smallest. I don't know. But they also have the largest cichlid in the world. So, yeah, you got all kinds of diversity in Lake Tanganyika. Uh, I hope you live... Oh, I hope, I hope you live. Donna says, I hope you live stream when you open the Jeep doors. Rotten clams. Good, Chaz. Good to see you taking time with us. 151 likes. Hey, we made it. We made 150. Fishman Aquatic says, are you sure you took the clams from the store? Yep, absolutely positive. Because I walked out with them in my hand and I was saying, you need to order more because I just took all your clams. Uh, how long would it take for clams to smell bad? <laughs> I don't. We'll find out. I'll, I'll let you know next week. <laughs> or I might, I might know by Thursday. <laughs> we'll see. Primetime Aquatic says, Tanganyikan's rule, yes. Absolutely. Shell dwellers, Cyprochromus. Oh, yeah, that's where it's at. Steamfoot Aquatics epistles are so hard to find here in New Zealand, and when you do find them, they are like $90. Wow. Uh, I prefer Central American cichlids myself, but my angels and Severum are growing on me. Uh, I asked if anyone harvests clams for their puffers. Lots where I live. Please don't live stream when you open the door. Can't listen to someone throw up. Have you ever seen a semi transparent male guppy? Nope. <sighs> Did you feed clams to the snake and mice to the puffer? I'm going to feed something. I'm not going to say what I'm going to feed to the puffer, but it should be a lot of fun. Uh, you'll see it in a video. I'm not going to say what I'm going to feed them. Nothing live, maybe, but nothing live. I left them on the roof of your car. That would suck. Tazawa Tank says, Shelly's for the win. Yep, I'm almost getting ready to unload a batch. I have... I have like seven spawns growing up right now. It's going to be insane. Jared says, I forgot about the snake. How's it doing? Still hasn't eaten, uh, but it's not losing weight, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, Bob has a nice car. I don't know if he's a roof setter. Uh, I mean, it's just a Jeep, <laughs> a cheap Jeep. I paid 1500 bucks for my Jeep, uh, and my car is only worth like ten grand. so... I, I don't really have nice cars. <laughs> uh, as soon as I see Neil Lamperlogus or Lamperlogus, I know it's going to be cool. Yep, super awesome fish. Okay, this time I... Oh, wait. Flynn Mercer Aquatic says, Okay, this time I got what I thought was a male and female Bolivian ram, but it turns out I have two females. Yeah, they can be kind of hard to sex. Uh, I forgot frozen brine in my car once. The smell was horrible. Yep. Oh... Everyone's saying, congrats, what happened? I got about 50 baby dovi, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. That sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, congrats on breeding the fish, but I don't know what you're going to do with 50 wolf cichlids. Don't like snakes. Don't like snakes eat, like, once a month, like, type, like, stuff, like. Uh, Priscilla, it is, as an adult, they, they don't. See, I was making fun of you, and now I screwed up my own speech. Um, this snake is a baby, so it does need to eat, but we'll see. Bob, what puffer would you put in a 30-gallon? An Amazon puffer. An Amazon puffer. Uh, Chaz's Fish Channel, I saw something about a glass guppy, but I don't remember where I saw it. Just lost two of my Epistogramma Hongsloy gold red males. Two females both laid eggs and killed both of the males. They were $120 a pair. Yep. You got to be really careful if you're breeding a pistos uh, that they don't turn around and kill each other after they spawn. You, you pretty much 
I would recommend separating them once they spawn and just let the female raise them. Would you put Kerbenzas in a 10 gallon? I would not. Sorry, I can't type like stuff. <laughs> I are the same. They are the same of my favorites. Just gave a dozen babies. Whew, must be getting almost close because my mouth is getting dry. Turtle Girl says, hey, Priscilla. Minimum tank for an Mbuna. Depends on the type, but the things with Mbuna is that you need quite a few of them. I wouldn't put them in anything less than a 55 gallon unless they're dwarf Mbunas. Then I would go with like a 40. I have dwarf Mbunas breeding right now in a 40 gallon breeder. My leopard gecko is enjoying your stream. <laughs> I... I, I love leopard geckos, but I don't know that I would ever own one. Uh, I really want an pistol fire red. They are so pretty. Well, get one, turtle girl. Get one. I think aquarium co-op usually always has them in stock. Chaz's fish channel. It would be cool to see. I have a guppy pond in my living room now. <laughs> uh, MK Films, 55 would be preferable, but I've had success with 40 breeders as well. Ah, Tazawa Tanks agrees with me, so I do know what I'm talking about sometimes. I have a 30 gallon long, is that okay for an Amazon puffer? And if so, can there be tank mates? If so, what kind? That would be good for one Amazon puffer. Um, ideally, you might want a little bit bigger. They do get, you know, in that three to four inch range and they're kind of like big and round. So you might want like a 40 breeder, but you, you'll probably do okay. And they're, they're social fish, so they shouldn't hurt anything. They're pretty peaceful against other fish. Aquatic Life MS says I want dart frogs and me too. I made the internet really mad when I said I was going to get dart frogs and then I never got them. Uh, what works well in a five foot long low boy? Five foot long low boy. Uh, you could do like a river setup. I did plecos and then got a little crazy and went overboard and did too many plecos. Christian says, what is better, a 20 long or a 20 high? I like 20 longs. Uh, but it really depends on what fish you want. Pick pick out what fish you want first, and then pick out whether you're going to get a 20 high or a 20 long. Damien says, I made it the last few minutes. Yes, you did, my friend. Except MTS isn't a, considered a disease in my house, so treatment is being delayed. Uh, Wes says, my dream tank is a 300 gallon with clown loaches and rainbows. That would be awesome. I approve any tank with rainbows. Asking for a friend, how many Amazon puffers can I put in a 55? Um, well, you either want one or you want like six. Priscilla says, I want chameleons, but I need to do some research. You should get some pygmy chameleons. They are just the cutest little things ever. When are you going to redo the 50 low boy? Uh, right now it is in my tank cemetery in my garage, empty with about 30 other tanks. Uh, I don't, I don't know when I'm going to redo it. I'm waiting on an order of substrate for it, so once I get that, uh, then I'll be able to really kind of reset it up. But honestly, I'm really enjoying having that space in the middle of the room, that table. Uh, it's really handy, especially when it comes to filming. So it's going to be pretty hard to set it back up, to be honest. How do you get rid of hair algae, Christian? I remove it by hand and then increase my water changes. My dream tank is a 380 with a large mouth, large mouth bass and some gar. What about Bob? My dream tank is the biggest possible tank I could ever get, whatever size that is. Uh, what's the smallest, uh, most peaceful a pisto? Hmm, smallest. I don't know. They're all about the same size. There are some smaller ones, but I can't think of the scientific names right now. Amen's Aquarium wants to know, Chris, job, job, are you still in the chat, job? Chris, are you still here? I just spent 75 bucks on pool filter sand, fox farm soil, and new plants. Awesome, Jared. Fox farm is awesome. Plecos are poop factory. They literally have an assembly line of poop 24-7. That is true. Should I tell my friend to upgrade to a 75? Absolutely. Could I put it six 4-inch rainbows and a 20 long? Probably not a good idea. How is that Fox Farm soil? Any ammonia release? Nope. I think you had Emperor Tetras in there, and I still do. They are doing awesome. No ammonia. Bob's Dream Tank is a tank with flower horns in it. What is your favorite species of Earth Eater? Uh, probably just the Jurupari. 
I know there is a couple different types or a couple different locations, but I really like them. Mine's a three billion gallon low boy. Uh, if, if you're on Twitter, go check out Bob's Twitter. Absolutely Twitter forward slash Bob Steenfot. Uh, yeah, just blew through like 10 comments in 30 seconds. How about that? Uh, I just got Bristlenose Plecos. What do you recommend for food and caves? I just got Omega-1 wafers. Those are awesome, Jessica, for caves. Um, the plant watering stakes on Amazon, they're clay. They're made for, like, if you go on vacation, you just stuff them in your house plant, fill it with water. But uh, they're really, really good for Pleco caves. You can get, like, four of them for, like, eight bucks. If you have Amazon Prime, then it comes with delivery. Uh, have I ever kept any rams? I currently have electric blue gold face rams, and I have bred Bolivian rams a very long time ago. Uh, what about Bob says, do you still have your Pseudocrine labiatus nicolsi? I do not. Unfortunately, I do not, and I I just didn't have good luck with them at all. So I, it's probably not a fish. I will keep again. 90-gallon reef or 90-gallon plant tank? Uh... Hmm, if I was to set up a new 90 gallon right now, it'd probably be salt water. Twitter, sounds like there's a lot of haters on Twitters. Uh, Twitter's interesting, but it is a lot of fun. Rockstone, which do you like best? Yep, pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, do you still have, I already got that one. I would love to do a six foot, wait, wait, wait. I would love to do a six foot low tank as a river tank, lots of plants and schooling fish. That would be cool. I really want rainbow darters. I have rainbow shiners, but I really need some rainbow darters in my life. Uh, my dream tank would be able to keep a fish in a 26,000 gallon swimming pool and still swim in it. <laughs> Eminem is the rap god and Bob is the chat god. Job, how are those fish doing you got? Uh, Eminem is no longer the rap god. He is awful. Awful, 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 awful. That last rap was absolutely terrible. He lost his title. Uh, let's see. I, I guess I'm reading too fast because I'm, I'm reading faster than the chat now. What's my favorite South American nano fish? I, I don't know. That'd be like, what's my favorite cichlid? I don't think I can answer that. What about Bob says, you should put a 120 where the 50 low boy was. I'm actually putting it below that. So below that, you know, I have my 55 gallon breeding fish for profit tank. And then on the other, on the other side is my 55 gallon Lake Tanganyikan with Cyprochromus leptosomus black fin. Uh, I'm going to take both those out and put a 120 there. So that's where I'm going to put a 120 as soon as they are on sale or if I can find a decent condition used one. Uh, could you give my channel a shout out? There you go. <laughs> About as close as you're going to get. Bob, you just like any fish with rainbow in the title? <laughs> that's kind of true. Uh, Amens, I lost a fish. I ended up coming home with 70 plus fish from AE, a couple tanks. So you lost a few. All right, that 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 comment kind of slowed me down a little bit. <laughs> uh, I want to have twin 300 gallon or more tanks, one reef and one planted. You should look at the 300 gallon deep from Marineland. Um, I don't know. I probably shouldn't promote that tank because I kind of suck, but it is a cool footprint. Uh, and it's fairly cheap for the size. Uh, I thought you had 120 in the tank hoarding garage. Uh, what about Bob? I have 120 gallon, but it's a five foot tank. So it's not the traditional four by two by two. And I need that four by two by two. Obviously, if I'm replacing two 55 gallons. Have I ever, have I ever kept Threadfin rainbows? The Turtle Girl, that is one rainbow that I've actually not kept. Uh, you have any ideas why my... Chaka Chaka catfish aren't growing. They eat cherry shrimp like crazy, and they also have been cleared of any parasites and things, but just aren't growing. How do you know they've been cleared of parasites? Uh, also, check out Bob's Instagram. I did just pass a thousand people on Instagram. That's pretty cool. Uh, hey, Chestnut, where in Michigan? All you have to do is go on Facebook group, uh, Facebook guppy group, and claim it as this, and then wait for everyone to correct you in an aggressive manner. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, it is 6 o'clock. That means the stream is over. Don't forget, this Thursday, we're going to have Rachel O'Leary on the live stream. So be prepared for your nano fish, shrimp, disease question. Uh, she is definitely an expert on just about everything. So hopefully you guys will have some questions saved up for her. Uh, again, that'll be on 5 o'clock Thursday. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out tonight. It was a lot of fun, as always. Uh, and wait, 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 wait. We got to thank Chris. 
Jobs Aquarium Tanks and Travis for the Super Chats. Uh, greatly appreciated. Also, a huge thank you for everyone who's supporting me on Patreon. I really, really appreciate it. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see everyone on Wednesday. Or no, Thursday. Thursday.